Hi all, welcome to the channel Cloud Knowledge. Today in this video, we'll study about time to live, that is TTL in Cosmos DB, and how to apply TTL to the items which are present inside a container. In the previous video, in the same series, we have studied how we can apply TTL at the container level. Now, in this video, we'll see how we can apply TTL time to live option over the items present inside the container and how it is related to the TTL applied at the container level. Okay, so here the TTL, as we already know from the previous video, is applied to provide the ability to delete the items automatically from a container after a certain time period. Okay, by default, we can set the TTL at the container level and override the value on a per item basis. Okay, so this statement states that if TTL is applied on per item basis then it will override the value set at the container level detail okay then in the previous video we have already gone through the sentences given here what's the maximum value of the detail how the RUs are utilized okay so we'll directly go to the application of detail on the items okay so we went to the configuration of the detail in the container using the portal okay we went to the portal and in the settings, we applied it by putting the TTL time to on. Okay, on means it will be on and the time we have to give. And on no default means the items which are present inside that container, if they have the item level detail, they will be deleted. Okay, and then if we go down, they have mentioned when default time to live is null, then your time to live is off. Okay, if it is minus one, then time to live setting is on, no default. And when it has any integer value except zero, then it is on the server will automatically delete items based on the configured value okay so this default time to live option is present inside the sdk so when we try to enable time to live option on a container using sdk this option we have to give okay default time to live will demo this in a different video using sdk cli and partial okay so for this video we'll go to the whiteboard and here also i'll try to demonstrate so let's say here we have a container okay this is my container container one and it has few items okay items and in the items it has item one item two item three right and this container has settings too and we know from the pre previous video that in the settings we have to set ttl option and ttl option could be set as by default, it will be, let's say, off, on, and there is no default, then it is on. And when it is on, we have to give this time in seconds, okay, let's say 180 seconds, 3 minutes, okay. And when it is off, detail is off at the container level. When it is on, no default means it is on, but the time is not set at the container level. And in the item, let's say, we will configure the TTL value and at the item level how we configure the TTL is using this TTL value inside the document if this is set to let's say 60 seconds okay 60 seconds now what happens is that in the container we have the TTL on and set as 3 minutes and at the item level it is set as 1 minute that is 60 seconds then this TTL will override the TTL present at the container level means this item will be deleted in one minute and the other items which are present here item one and two and if they have if they don't have the TTL set at the item level they will be deleted after 180 seconds that is three minutes okay so this is how the TTL will operate and let's say in the container we are and this is like item one item two item three item four so here we have options and the settings the settings of this container in the settings of the container we have the ttl as off on no default and on okay if the ttl at the container level is off and here in the item we have the ttl value given let's say it's given as 60 seconds Will the item be deleted after 60 seconds? Will it be deleted? No. Because at the container level, the TTL setting is off. So how will this item level 
TTL will work. We have to go to the container level settings of the TTL and make it to on no default. Only when on no default is enabled, then only the item level TTL will work. So we'll see the practical implementation of this configuration. So let's go back to the documentation and here we saw that we enable the TTL at the container level and the settings, these settings, what they signify. And if we go further down, they have the set time to live on an item. Okay. And to set a TTL on the item, you need to provide a non-zero positive number, which indicates the period in seconds to expire the item after the last modified timestamp of the item. The last modified timestamp of the item is denoted by underscore TS. Okay. Underscore every item will have underscore TS, which is, which signifies the last modified timestamp. Okay, you can provide minus one as well, where the item should not expire. Okay, then we have, if the item doesn't have a TTL, then by default, the TTL set to the container will apply to them. That's what I said, that if it does not have, that means the container level TTL will be applicable to it. If TTL is disabled at the container level, then the TTL on the item will be ignored until TTL is re-enabled on the container. Okay, so item level will not be considered until this TTL on no default is on. Okay. Then, then how we can enable TTL on the item through portal. They have given that we have to go to the settings. There are two options. Like we have to either select on no default or on. Then save the changes. And in the document level, we have to navigate to the item for which we want to set type TTL. Add the TTL property. Okay. That's TTL value that we have to give. Here is the TTL value. Okay. The other details of the item are given and then here the time to live option is given as 10 seconds for the document, right? If we go back here in this documentation, they have mentioned the same thing that time to live on an item is set using the property detail. This property is applicable only if default time to live is present and it is not set to null for the parent container. If present, it overrides default time to live value of the parent container, okay? So, we read the theory part of it and saw how it will work over the whiteboard. So, let's now go to the portal and apply detail over the items and the containers and see the implementation. So, let's go to the portal. Here we are in the portal and in the Cosmos DB, no SQL API. We have a database, CK Cosmos DB and three containers present in it. So we are taking the same example where we had the container, CK test container, so it's container two, test container three. Okay, three containers. If you open the containers and the items present in it, here in the test container, we have two items. Okay, item one, item two. Okay, and here you can see the item has this underscore TS, last modified timestamp. So here we have item one and item two. And if we go to the settings, of this test container here we can see that the time to live option is off it is not set to on no default not on so now let's go back to the items and here in the item level we'll try to apply the TTL property so we'll just go here in the document put a comma after the TS and add TTL property so within double quotes we'll add TTL and then the value Let's say we want to expire this after 40 seconds. Okay. So let's. So we have added the property of detail to 40 seconds. We'll click on update. So this item will be saved at this test container. And this detail is applied over the item one, right? And after applying the detail, we could see that the TS last modified timestamp is also updated. And here we could refresh and see if the item is deleted or not after 40 seconds so let's click on refresh after 40 seconds and we could see that the item is not deleted why is it not deleted even though the detail is set because we read that it will only be deleted if the settings at the container level are either on no default or on okay so let's now make the setting to on no default at the container level and save the settings okay so once we save the setting at the container level and go back to the 
item here and click on refresh after 40 seconds we could see that this item one is deleted okay and we can validate it by putting a new sql query select star from c we won't see the item one okay so let's execute the query only we'll see item two okay item two is present one is deleted because here in this container we have two items right item two and item one okay only item two is now present okay now if we go to the settings we have time to live on that's why the item got deleted so let's now take another example where we'll set the ttl at the container level by putting the ttl option to on and the seconds that is the duration we'll give here at the container level let's give it to 180 seconds okay so here we have given the container level ttl as 180 seconds means after three minutes we want the items present inside this container to delete okay and we'll not save this setting because it will be immediately applied to all the items so we'll go back to the same container and he'll here in the container for the item 2 we'll apply a new ttl by adding the property ttl and this time we want it to expire in let's say 60 seconds okay so what happens is that if the setting here is 180 seconds and at the document level it is 60 seconds that then this item will not wait up to 180 seconds it will be deleted within 60 seconds the ttl which is set at the container level will be overridden by the ttl set at the item level okay so let's save so let's update this document here and save the settings here we'll go back here so let's wait for 60 seconds to see if the item will be expired so 60 seconds have passed we'll click on refresh and yeah the document item 2 is gone okay if we go to the query section and try to query the container let's click on execute query we won't see any result okay all deleted so we demonstrated in this container how we applied the ttl to the item level and then what's the relation between the ttl at the container and the item level so let's now go to another container ck test container 2 and go to the items here we have three items you can see so let's not put any ttl property in this item we leave it as is and let's go to the item 2 and we'll apply the ttl property here to 180 seconds okay and we'll update this document ck test container is having now the property of ttl that it will expire after three minutes provided the ttl option is enabled at the container level also we'll go to the third item item one container three and here we'll add the ttl of add the detail of 15 seconds maybe okay let's update so what happened is so what we did is we added 15 seconds here in the item 3 in item 2 we added 180 seconds and in the first item we didn't add any detail okay and we'll go now to the ck test container to setting click on the settings and we'll make the detail option on after making it on what happens is that so among all these documents item 1 container 3 the third item from the list will be deleted because it has the least detail value that is within 15 seconds this will be deleted then item 2 will be deleted after 180 seconds and dummy will not be deleted so let's go to the settings here and make it to on and save the changes let's go back to the container and wait for 15 seconds to refresh let's click on refresh so we could see that item 3 which was present in the list is gone because the detail was set to 15 seconds and after 180 seconds we will see that item 2 will also be deleted so three minutes have crossed we'll see if item 2 is deleted or not so item 2 is also deleted we are left with only one item called the first item dummy 
okay now we'll go to the test container 3 and we'll check another scenario so let's click on the items present in the test container 3 here we could see that there are in total five items if we click over the items here we have the details of the items so let's now configure the detail property on few of the items present inside this container and then enable detail option on and give the time duration in seconds there and see how it behaves so for the item one we won't give the detail property so if we won't give the detail property then the settings for the detail which we'll give later at the container level this document will follow the same time okay so we'll leave item one then in item two we'll go and we'll add comma here and then the detail property the detail property will set for this as let's say 240 seconds okay after four minutes this item two should expire then we'll go okay we have to update also click on update so this is updated item two then we'll go to item four and in item four we'll give the detail property this time we'll give it to a lesser time duration t t l and let's give it to 15 seconds okay item 4 is 15 seconds click on update then we'll go to item 3 for item 3 we'll give the detail property to let's say 60 seconds that is one minute let's click on update so that this detail property is added to it then we'll go to the item 5 in item 5 we'll give the detail property to let's say 4 seconds the least okay so this item should be deleted first it has 4 item 5 has 4 item 3 has 60 item 4 has 15 item 2 has 240 so item 2 has the highest uh, detail property set here okay 240 now we'll go to the settings of the ck test container okay and we'll open the item 5 which has the least detail that is 4 seconds and after 4 seconds it won't be deleted because here at the container level the detail property is not yet set so we'll click on detail property on and we'll configure here the seconds okay let's give the second here as let's say two okay that is after two second the item should delete but that two second will be applicable only to to but the two seconds configured at the container level will be only applicable to those items which don't have the item level detail property set okay that means item one will be deleted first which will follow the detail property set at the container level okay so we'll click on save and we'll quickly go here at the container and we'll click on refresh and here we could see only item 2 is left item 1 got deleted first because it was not having the detail set then 15 40 all are deleted we are left only with item 2 which is having the detail of 240 seconds okay so after 240 seconds if we come and refresh this will also be deleted so from this example we got to know that the container level detail time here two seconds won't affect the item 2 here present which is having a higher detail time set here okay so the detail set at the item level will override the detail set at the container level that's what we demonstrated in this scenario so after 240 seconds that is after four minutes this item 2 will also be deleted let's come back here after four minutes so let's click on refresh and we could see that item 2 is also deleted after four minutes so this is how we could apply the detail at the item level and at the container level and we saw the relationship between the two hope you've got the idea of detail and its application in Cosmos DB. Thank you for watching the video. Do let me know in comments if you have any queries. Happy learning. Bye.